Well, hello. This is Outnumbered Overtime. OT, baby! <laughs> Jerry Baker has never seen me do that. And he's joining us. He is the editor-in-chief of Wall Street Journal. And I hope I haven't scared you, but that's how we roll here on, a, on OT. Well, I'm a big sports fan. I love ah, so American sports. I go. love football, as I call it. We used to, when I grew up, what, we, what you call soccer is what we call football. I've got mm -hmm. used to calling that soccer, but I love football. I'm a New York Giants fan, I'm afraid. Uh, it was such a good weekend last weekend, but no, it's a great, uh, great pleasure to be here. And thank you for the hand signals. So uh, <laughs> Our heads You're are welcome. down because we're already uh, scrolling through our social media. So we're live on Facebook and on the web, outnumbered overtime, where our viewers can weigh in and let us know what they think about the show. And then usually they let us know pretty quickly what the hottest topics of the show were. Harris, you got overtime up yet? I'm yeah, I have them both up, actually. We have a very uh, healthy um, input right now. You know, one, and I'm just going to kind of look at trends. There is a trend here about getting ready for the next debate. And having anchored one of those, I'm just curious from your perspective about how the moderator situation should be. Does it need to change? I mean, look, this is less about Lester Holt and more about getting the most information we can for the American voter. Mm. I agree. And it's a shame when the mo it's like a referee in a good you know, sports game, you shouldn't, you know, the really best referees should be basically invisible. You shouldn't, it's not about them. They shouldn't be, they shouldn't be very prominent. And I think Lester Holt did make himself rather prominent. Look, it's Martha Raddatz, I think, next time um, for the next and debate. Cooper, right? And Edison Cooper, you're right. So it is the two of them, somewhat different. Look, I don't think anybody's really in any doubt that, that, that pretty well all the media, mainstream media, skews to the left, they're, they're liberals. They've got to do a better job of at least... <laughs> Trying, to, it. trying yeah. to be Baking fair. It. Trying to be fair. You know, they, they, you know they, that's what that's what was so disappointing about Lester Holt. He didn't even really try. Well, and he capitulated to the narrative that had already started uh, via Matt Lauer because Matt Lauer right. tried to ask questions about the emails of Hillary Clinton, right. and he got spanked pretty hard. Right. Yeah. Uh, so I think he fell prey to that. And yeah. so no he didn't one, ask no any. one seemed Lester to mind Lester Holt's one-sided uh, performance exactly. there. And, exactly. you know, I agree. I think when, when Lester Holt was invisible, the debate was better. Mm, and I was. think there's enough for these he two to go. He an invisibility cloak? <laughs> he did uh, during, I mean, there were, there were huge chunks yeah. of time where yeah, he just right. sat there and filed his nails and did his taxes. Yeah, they really, that was really good. That first 20 minutes or so when they kind of went at each other, yeah. it was like a real debate. Instead of these stilted, you've got 90 seconds for this and 90 seconds for a response, mm -hmm. by the way, which was when Sandra and I did debates in the primaries, mm -hmm. it, well, there were nine candidates in my debate and multiple candidates in Sandra's debate. They, you know, it was hard to get a real discussion going because mm -hmm. they all had to have their set piece. They, you know, in this, in this general presidential debate they've got you've got two candidates and they were allowed to have time allowed to go at each other and exactly as Kennedy said when Holt got out of the way that was the best stuff that was yeah. the, that was the best part of the debate yeah but then he stayed out of the way a lot uh, a lot, he maybe did. too much. To the where end of it too, yeah. Well, yeah. Then only, then only piped up. Yeah, yeah you only problem. piped up. But to, he fact checks. Yeah. You know, he fact checked Trump. I don't know. You know, like. Ten times, and Hillary and he followed up something, six. and it was yeah. you know. It, it, I look zero. For Can I her. ask you a question? Um, I have a concern that President Obama was present and a guest at Martha Raddatz's wedding. Anderson Cooper has shown himself to interject his own politics when he interviews people, and in many different ways that has been showcased in the past few months. I'm concerned about these two as choices, and I know they're moderating a town hall, which is different, but what is it going to take to get some people that haven't donated to the Clinton Foundation, aren't socializing and inviting politicians to your weddings? Like, what does it take to get a true Off journalist? Planet, well, you only have to wait another week or so after that when Chris Wallace will be uh, hosting the final debate. But, the, but so it's sorry missed for opportunities. A plug for Fox News. Look, I, I agree us. with you, Megan, and I think, it's one of the, I think it's what contributes to so much so much distrust that people have of the media right now, right? They, they do know. You're absolutely right in that, you know, the, the, cl the closeness between so many of these liberal media types and prominent Democratic politicians, and you've only got to see, you see it all the time with Hillary and, and Bill Clinton too, you know, they are very close. And by the way, that, that, that sort of, that gravy train of people who were journalists who then go up, end up working for the, for oh, the, for the, Democratic, for the Democratic president, you know, Jay Carney and there's so many. So people are cynical about it, understandably, yeah. because they don't trust the media. And that's a mm -hmm. great shame. But I really do, I'm not just saying this because it's Fox News and it's Chris, but that, you know, I, I do think that third debate that Chris, Chris Wallace is hosting, you know, Chris is a tremendous politician, respected by both, uh, a tremendous journalist, respected by both sides. That should be a really good, substantive and fair. Well, we fair get debate. one out of four. I get you know one what, out I, of four. I have to say, though, in, 
in, in fairness, I, I've seen Biden. Anderson Cooper go after Hillary Clinton. I really haven't. I mean, he's pressed her on things in, in ways like he's, he's got a confidence with her. And maybe it's because they have a personal relationship. But he has he's thumbed down on her a bit in ways that I have not seen other journalists do. And I think the whole Lester Holt thing was a reaction to Matt Lauer. Yeah, I, and I, I really think Matt do. Lauer's whole thing was a reaction to Chuck Todd and Andrea Mitchell. Yeah, I, I, I really do. I, I, I mean, I, that capitulation to not yeah. even bring up the emails organically once as the she got in his head. Yeah. I know too right, right. much about Anderson Cooper and his politics, which he has showcased on television. And I just wish it was like, more like a Chris Wallace one where I just don't know that much about your background. You haven't donated. You're not hanging out in the Hamptons with a bunch of hardcore well, liberals all the time. That's why I suggested the, the time. should be off planet. Yes. Anyway, we'll move on. Uh, Oki222, student loans are not a government issue. Wake up, America. I'm reading from our live chat cool. now because we talked a little bit about that. Your thoughts? Well, I mean, they are a government issue if they become, say, if you have a situation where many students default and essentially mm. the government is holding the guarantee, as it often is with, with, with all these student loans. So, um, and this is a big problem. There's, there's, you know, there's a huge amount of student debt. A lot of students are taking on, taking on this debt. They're not completing their courses or they're unable to somehow to, to repay the loan. And again, because you have a lot of, a lot of them, not all of them, a lot of them have guarantees uh, from various government agencies and the government is actually uh, is on the hook for at least part of the loan. So it is a big problem. And, but, you know, the whole problem of student debt is a big problem. It's, it's inc you know, private colleges in this country are phenomenally expensive. And there, right. there's no incentive for these colleges to lower tuition or exactly. cut administration. And that's right. where so much of the money goes on college campuses. It's not to new programs. It's not to research facilities. Yeah, a, it's not to professors. It's to administrators. And, right. and they take up a bulk of that tuition. And, you know, and, and there really is, it's not a free market system. They, they are not subjected to the force is the free market and it does a great disservice mm. to people who matriculate so mary joe <clears throat> mary joe fundock on facebook says i don't agree in free college it won't be free it will be taxpayer funded and i have already paid for my college and my children's millennials it is a lie don't fall for it you will pay for it do you have any of those <clears throat> shout outs i'm watching from wherever yeah we've got I a lot those. of got a lot of texas weighing in Woo! right now <clears throat> send us where you're writing in from we do like to uh give shout outs and on our live chat again, I'm just going to kind of tick down topic to topic as it comes up. Uh, S. Bartnes, I think is how you say it. Hillary has apologized for using the server, but she has never apologized for lying about using the server. She hasn't I apologized for using the server. She's apologized for using what she calls private email. Yeah. And, and she, she tries to tie it to the exact I'm same thing. I'm not even sure she apologized. She said, I made a mistake. Yeah. I'm not even sure that oh, counts that, as an apology. Good point. Mm. All right. Uh... We got South Dakota, Alaska, Wisconsin, Manchester, New Hampshire. Hey, all on Facebook California, Live. California, Oklahoma. I feel like coast. I'm singing a song over here. Coast to coast. Uh, okay. Anybody from <laughs> overseas? Up in hey, from Anybody Florida. Watching from my old Is anyone watching from overseas? Please yeah. give us a shout. Fed up in Lakewood writes, politicians, media, insurance companies. I can't figure out who I hate the most. What about unions? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe there was a character. It is true. Uh, limit limit. <laughs> Journalists generally find themselves at the bottom of that long list of people uh, people don't trust. So Somewhere this, beneath, you know, door-to-door -door sales. This sort. particular question Jeffrey Brueggemann brings up. Comey has no integrity. He knew his recommendation would be the decision. Uh, it, was for, it was all for show. The American people cannot even trust the FBI to do the right thing anymore. Has he sullied his reputation? I think he has. Look, I think, I think again, to be fair to Comey, um, and Comey was very widely respected. Remember, he worked in the yes. Bush administration. Mm -hmm. He was trusted by Republicans a lot. To be fair, to, to, he's, he's getting it from both sides, right? Okay, because Dem I tell you one thing, and this isn't widely talked about, but the Democrats, Hillary was furious, and Hillary's team were furious with Comey's famous press conference back in July, I think July mm -hmm. the 5th, mm -hmm. uh, when he said he wasn't going to indict her, but he then laid out this extraordinary public bill of indictment, if not you know, formal <laughs> indictment, against her about how she'd been um, negligent and reckless, or, you know, careless with her emails. And they Everything thought, short they thought stupid, that was the worst basically. of all. Yeah. They thought that was the worst outcome because they never thought she was, he was going to indict her. And I don't think he was. They never thought he was going to indict her, but they didn't expect him to come out and really, really, really give her that kind of a, you yeah, know, that, that kind of, exactly, that, 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 the, the damage that he did there. Republicans on the other end think he should ways. have indicted her. So he can't have it both ways. I mean, that's I think that's everyone's problem with this. It's that, like you said, he goes after, and I think it was like 20 minutes long, mm. talking about yeah. basically every single reason why what she did was illegal. Mm. Doesn't indict her. But he then, couldn't find the evidence to indict her. Well, but really everyone needed. associated with it gets immunity. Every single person yeah, attached is, to the Clinton Foundation, you get immunity, you're never going to have to. I, I want to get this one in real quickly, because they actually, one viewpoint says, 
I want to ask one lucky guy a question. So this oh, is specifically okay. for you. you. What does the hashtag one lucky guy think about the October surprise coming up? Well, oh, so yeah. that's, a good, that's a good question. So there are, that's a very good question. There are, um, there are two categories of October surprise. There's, hmm. there's the October surprise that we're kind of expecting. And that I think is probably more of leaks from the Democrats emails that whoever it was, whether you believe the Democrats and it was the Russians or whoever it was, came out, if you remember, just before the Democrats. What about other National leaks Convention. that we... Uh we could have other leaks, but we know, I mean, that Wikipedia have said, sorry, Wikipedia, WikiLeaks have said they are definitely going to be. So that's the one category. Yeah. So that's one category. And then the other one is something we just don't know about completely. What happens? Something that either that just campaign lands. could have in their pocket that yeah. they're going to expose when they feel the time is right. Yeah. Hmm. By the way, uh, after you asked that question, Scotland and Australia, we Excellent. have yours right Good. in front. That's oh, awesome. Awesome. Well, Facebook Live. We love yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Jerry Baker, Wall Street Journal. Thank you so much. Thank you, so good Thank to have you very you. much for having me. Thank you. We'll see everybody tomorrow. Thank you.